Welcome to today's show, Selections from Peace de Sophia, Chapters 28 to 31, Part 1 of 2. Gnosis is a spiritual doctrine associated with early Christianity whose teachings are thought to have come from the original disciples of Lord Jesus Christ. Gnostics believe that humans are innately spiritual and have a spark of the divine within. Thus, one can know God directly through insights of the higher self. Gnostic teachings also highlight the temporary nature of earthly life. Understanding this can lead to a natural seeking of higher truth, which is ultimately beyond physical creation. Pisti Sophia, meaning faith wisdom or faith in the light, is a Gnostic scripture of teachings given by Lord Jesus Christ in the 11 years following his resurrection. Written in approximately the 3rd century, the Pisti Sophia manuscript was rediscovered in Egypt in 1773. In this scripture, Lord Jesus Christ addresses his disciples regarding different aspects of heaven and the divine. The manuscript also identifies Pisti Sophia as a seeker in human form, symbolizing the soul that is yearning to reconnect with the higher self. In these teachings, Jesus also speaks of the eons, symbolizing lower and higher realms of existence, along with the treasury of light, which represents the attainment of heavenly reunion with the divine. Today, as we share excerpts from chapters 28 and 29 of Pisti Sophia, we will hear how Lord Jesus Christ describes his discovery of Pisti Sophia just beneath of the 13th eon. Chapter 28 The powers adore the light vesture. Jesus continued again in his discourse and said to his disciples, Listen concerning the things which befell me among the rulers of the twelve eons, and all their rulers, and their lords, and their authorities, and their angels, and their archangels. When then they had seen the vesture of light which was about me, they and their unpaired, then every one of them saw the mystery of his name, that it was on my vesture of light which was about me. They fell down all together, adored the vesture of light which was about me, and cried out all together, saying, How has the Lord of the universe passed through us without our knowing it? And they all sang praises together to the interiors of the interiors. And all their triple powers, and their great forefathers, and their ungenerated, and their self-generated, and their generated, and their gods, and their light sparks, and their light bearers, in a word, all their great ones, saw the tyrants of their region, that their power was diminished in them. And they were in weakness, and themselves fell into great and immeasurable fear. And they gazed on the mystery of their name on my vesture, and they had set out to come and adore the mystery of their name, which was on my vesture, and they could not because of the great light which was about me, but they adored a little removed from me, and they adored the light of my vesture, and all cried out together, singing praises to the interiors of the interiors. The tyrants become as the dead. It came to pass then, when this befell among the tyrants, who are below these rulers, that they all lost power and fell down to the ground in their eons and became as the dead world dwellers with no breath in them as they became in the hour when I took from them their power. Chapter 29 Jesus enters the thirteenth eon and finds Pisti Sophia below it. It came to pass then thereafter that I ascended to the veils of the thirteenth eon. It came to pass then when I had arrived at their veils, that they drew apart of their own accord and opened themselves for me. I entered in into the thirteenth eon, and found Pisti Sophia below the thirteenth eon, all alone, and no one of them with her. And she sat in that region grieving and mourning, because she had not been admitted into the thirteenth eon, her higher region. And she was moreover grieving because of the torments which self-willed, who is one of the three triple powers, had inflicted on her. But this, when I shall come to speak with you, respecting their expansion, I will tell you the mystery, how this befell her. 
Sophia and her fellow powers behold the light. It came to pass then, when peace de Sophia saw me shining most exceedingly, and with no measure for the light which was about me, that she was in great agitation and gazed at the light of my vesture. She saw the mystery of her name on my vesture, and the whole glory of its mystery. For formerly she was in the region of the height, in the thirteenth aeon, but she was wont to sing praises to the higher light, which she had seen in the veil of the treasury of the light. It came to pass then, when she persisted in singing praises to the higher light, that all the rulers who are with the two great triple powers, and her invisible who is paired with her, and the other two and twenty invisible emanations gazed at the light, inasmuch as P.C. Sophia and her pair, they and the other two and twenty emanations make up four and twenty emanations, which the great invisible forefather and the two great triple powers have emanated. Go ahead and make war, cause the devil is controlling you, and you forgot God Almighty already. Compassionate viewers, it's been a pleasure to have your company for Selections from Pisti Sophia, chapters 28 to 31, part 1 of 2, on words of wisdom 